it's basically an acronym for a group of people and this group of people include lesbians gay bisexuals um, queer people questioning people we're going to talk about questioning people um, these are people who are either aromatic or asexual so these are people who are not sexually attracted to anyone and then we also have an inter the intersex group these are people who do not um, identify with either of the known sex organs which is the male and the female um, organ so yeah basically these are the group of people who fall under the LGBT AI I'd say it's a bit of everything because there are people who who have grown into it when I say who have grown into it there are people who grow to a certain age before they align with um, some of these groups and then there are also people who have this tendency just when they were born like I mentioned there are people who are born with either both of the sex organs or none at all so that one you can say because that's how they were born so that one is biological so I'll say it's, it's a bit of everything a, um, a part is biological a part is a social thing where people go to a certain age where they feel like this is a group or this is the kind of life they want to live and um, they adopt it and it's something they want so it's their choice and so we just have to respect it yes spirituality has a role because there, there's a moral argument that um, says the bible frowns against um, homosexuality and all these things but then again it's not everybody who subscribes to the christian religion or it's not everybody who is a believer of the of the bible and so for such people this whatever is in the bible doesn't bind them and so they can choose not to go by it and then there are also people who actually believe in the bible but they still want to but they still align or they are still what they are because for them it is who they are and so there's nothing they can do about it and just like um the bible admonishes us from doing a lot of things but we still do them they, they probably just take it as one of those rules you break because the bible is against fornication every every christian knows this but there are christians who fornicate the bible is against murder every christian knows this but there are christians that fall prey to this crime the bible is against stealing gossip um, but by a lot of things yes the bible frowns against um homosexuality and all these things but then again we are humans as well and so even if we are towing that moral um route it's a sin yes it's a sin those group of people willingly want to commit so yeah it should be legalized why am i saying so because a lot of the people who align with this groups are abused verbally and physically we've heard stories we've seen evidence of people in that group being abused and so if it is legalized now they have the the legal right to practice or to live their sexuality then no one has the right to because when when they are abused the 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 reason behind the abuse is that, oh, we are breaking the law because this is not incorporated in our law. But then if it is legalized, then someone suffers abuse. The person can actually go to court and seek redress and seek justice for being abused. Because this is someone's personal life. They've chosen to align with a certain group of people or they've chosen a certain route, which is which is their choice so i do not see the reason why they should be abused either verbally or physically i mean when someone even someone steals and there's a mob action against the person we all frown against it and sometimes people seek redress in court because they were abused physically although they committed a crime and so yes it should be legalized so that the people who fall under that group also know that they have a right to fight when they are abused and they have the, the legal right to live their lives in peace without fearing for their lives. 
because murder is a crime too and sometimes they kill some of these people and so it should be legalized. I'll take cases like um, a man professing love to me and so if a man proposes love to me and I'm not interested, you just tell them you're not interested. And so if a fellow woman comes to me and proposes love, I do not swing that way. So I just um, say no to their proposal like I would to a man I do not feel the same way about equally. So there's nothing there. I'll just find out why in the first place they feel that way and respect their views for what it is. Especially if they are of age, if they are above 18 where they, I know they are sound enough to make their own decisions. I'll just find out why and then let them do what they want to do. As I had mentioned earlier on, for our religious leaders, the Bible frowns against homosexuality. Yes, I know this because I'm a Bible-believing person myself. But then the pastors should also know that there are different religions and there are atheists around the world. And so it's not everybody that um, believes, to the, um, believes in the Bible. And so such people should be allowed to follow their belief. And for Christians or for people in their churches who believe in the Bible, they come to church and do everything right, but then still want to be, but then are still lesbians, gays, or whatever. It's their choice. They being lesbian or gay is equal to the people in your churches fornicating, is equal to the people in your church sleeping with the married men and women, is equal to the people in your churches who are armed robbers and come back to pay tithe in the church. And so they should be allowed to also do what they do. Just like the Bible admonishes us to be welcoming of everybody, even sinners. A church is for the sinner. So to the religious leaders, they should just be accommodated and not met out hostility to these people because they are human too. If you ask me if I'll at a point, it's like it's, something you just get up and decide to do. In my explanation, I did state that, aside the fact that there are people who get to a point and align with that, some are inbuilt. And so, as I sit here now, I align with men. But then I would say never say never, because you don't know what I'll feel at any point in my, in, in my life. But I do not think it's just something you get up and say, okay, I want to do this. Not, it's not a fashion, it's not... <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a fashion, it's, it's an inbuilt thing and it's something that has to do with how people feel. And so if at any point I feel, if at any point in my life I feel attracted to women, if at any point in my life I feel like doing women, that's my decision and everyone would have to respect that.